In this video, we'll write the molecular geometry for N2, that's nitrogen gas. So to start out, we have our Lewis structure here. So based on our Lewis structure, we have this triple bond here. This is where the atoms are being shared between the two nitrogen atoms. Then we have these two lone pairs out on the end. They're not bonding, they're called non-bonding electrons. So we have our Lewis structure, and we can see really the only geometry that's possible here is just a straight line right through them. That means this is going to be a linear molecular geometry, and the bond angle will be 180 degrees. Let's take a closer look at that. So we'll say this is one of the nitrogen atoms, then we're going to add another nitrogen atom with a triple bond. So we have these two bonded together. So you can see our linear molecular geometry. No matter how you put this, you can draw a straight line through it. We'd have our lone pair of electrons on either side, and this is a linear molecular geometry, and the bond angle, that's going to be 180 degrees. So for molecules like N2, O2, Cl2, it's pretty simple. When we add more molecules, it gets a little more complex. A table like this can be really helpful for that. You can look at the steric number, that's how many things are bonded to that central atom, and then you could look at how many lone pairs there are to figure out the molecular geometry. There's a link in the description to a video to help you do that. But to recap, for N2, we have a molecular geometry that is linear, and the bond angle, this bond angle right here, is 180 degrees. If you looked at the electron geometry, that would also be linear. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for N2. Thanks for watching.